Everyone in Zion sing. Rejoice. With your voice, praises ring. Rejoice. Joyful sounds to the King. Rejoice. Everybody in the house sing. Rejoice. God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse number 1. And it says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Amen. You know, there are plenty of times, many times, uh, when a brother or sister in Christ uh, strays. They, they go the wrong way and they begin engaging in conduct that they should not uh, engage in. And uh, there are times when God will reveal that unto us. He will allow us to see it. And God does not allow us to see these things or to know these things so that we can talk about that brother or sister, uh, gossip about them behind their back, or to put them down even to their face. The reason why God reveals this unto us is so that we can operate in the spirit of love and go to that brother or that sister and restore him or her. Uh, we have to remember we are all members of one body. And as Paul says, uh, if, if one part of the body is hurting, then the other part of the body is hurting as well. And so if a brother or sister in Christ uh, has gone astray, it is up to those who are spiritual, it says. Amen. Those who are walking by the Spirit to go and to restore that brother or sister. And to do it, it says, in the spirit of meekness. That means that we do it gently, that we look to uh, have uh, a heart-to-heart -heart talk and to speak the truth to that person in love. Now, this does not mean that everything is lovey-dovey. Maybe there might be a, uh, an occasion where a, a rebuke is certainly needed, especially if someone is repeatedly engaging in such conduct. But even your rebuke should be done in such a way that the end result is the restoration of that person and not that person's condemnation. And don't we know that too many times in the body of Christ uh, when we miss the mark or go astray, many times it's those in the body who are more judgmental and are more harsh toward their own brethren than even those outside the body. But that's not the way it should be. Amen. So let us take this and keep, uh, keep this in mind because there are going to be times in our walk with God where others around us are going to miss it and God's going to bless us and give us the grace to see that and to be aware of it. But he does it so that we can operate in the love of Jesus and go and restore that brother or that sister so that the body can be strengthened. And remember this. There will come a time, amen, in your walk with God where you will miss it. And remember that there's a principle of God that always is in operation. Whatsoever you sow, that shall you also reap. And so if you sow a seed of meekness and restoration when it's your brother and sister, you can expect to reap that kind of harvest when you are the one who has missed the mark. So let's continue to work together and operate in love, amen. And when we see those brothers or sisters who are struggling, let's go unto them in the spirit of meekness and look to restore them so that the entire body of Christ can go forward and do the great exploits in this earth that we've been called to do. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged, be strengthened. And remember, Jesus loves you and his love never fails. Rejoice.